Welcome back, and let's not waste any more time. Back over to the Acadiana area we go, and we're checking in on St. James, who made the drive up and over the bridge, and they are heading out to Bro Bridge. St. James and Bro Bridge, a good matchup here. We're picking up with Coach Rick Gailey, telling his players, get it ready and get it down the field to Devin Dabney, who takes it in from five yards out. It was six to nothing, St. James. The point after was no good, and then Corey Webster to David Dennis. A great catch here, dives it out of bounds, gets it at the seven yard line. And then Dabney's going to do the rest. Boy, he's just a one-man wrecking crew right now. Gets it into the end zone. He pulls his way in. The two-point conversion is good. 14 to nothing, St. James. But Jarvis Williams for Bro Bridge and head coach Mike Mowad bringing it back in, coming near side. Five yards on the touchdown run. Oh, he gets hit head on, but takes it into the end zone. And it is 14 to seven. They cut the lead in half. But then here comes Montrell Steve with a huge touchdown run. Look at him go through traffic, break tackles. And look at him, turn on the speed. Forget about catching number 12 as he takes it in for six. The point after is good, and it is 21 to 7. But back comes Bro Bridge, and once again, it's Jarvis Williams. 15 yards on the touchdown run as he takes it in near side, and this time doesn't have a head on collision. The extra point is no good, 21 to 13. But back comes St. James again. Corey Webster to Davin Dennis. Unbelievable touchdown catch. Look at the great dive and the extension. The two point conversion was good, 29 to 13. And check out your final score as St. James on the road and at the Bro Bridge, 48 to 27. So the number four seed advances, and they will take on Benton, the number five seed, who took care of Franklin tonight, 37 to 14 is that final score. Right down the road, we had a wild game tonight at point after. Now we're in the fourth quarter. And it is David Playson. The other half of that tailback tandem for the Wolves coming right at you. And going away down the sideline for the touchdown. 20 yards, redemptorist. Actually, that's not the touchdown. That gets him in position for the touchdown. Makes it a 28-20 score as he does go in right there to give Redemptorist an eight-point lead. Now, the kickoff. As they say, the ensuing kickoff. What are we going to see? Maybe a run back for Cecilia. Score as many points as you can. Redemptorist will try first, and Plaisance gets the one-yard touchdown run. But on the extra point try, watch what happens. No. Why to the left? Cecilia has the door opened unto it. And Cecilia's Lucas Sam is going to get the job done. They need six points. You see the down, you see the distance, and here's the handoff, and there is your touchdown. We are tied, and Jesse Smith, you think he was nervous? Jesse Smith will come on to kick the extra point. Number 74, dead center. Ball game over. And ridiculous season is over as well. Cecilia celebrating tonight the 35 to 34 victory. The seventh seed advances to take on 23 Bogalusa. Take notes from Woodlawn. A meet, the top seed in 3A advances. The Warriors with the victory will be back home against Notre Dame, who won over Winfield. St. James, they will be on the road at Benton as St. James took it to Bro Bridge tonight. Benton the winner over Franklinton. And wrapping up 3A, Jennings has advanced by beating Parkview. It was Carr, the upset winner over Independence. Also, 3A action, Cecilia, the seventh seed against Turlings, a Lafayette affair. Redemptorist has done so.